I want to give you some tips on putting together a great business proposal. In the old days, we used to put together proposals that were lengthy. We would spend hours, sometimes weeks, uh, working on them. They would be thick. They would have all kinds of attachments and all kinds of things involved with them. When I say attachments, I don't mean email. I mean hard copy, big proposals with all kinds of information. We don't do that as much today as we used to. Uh, many proposals are emailed, many proposals are short and to the point, and many proposals are um, just not, don't have the same kind of, um, it doesn't feel like an event like it used to feel when you propose things because there are so many things you're proposing. Nevertheless, there are a couple of things you should have in your proposal that are important. And if you're not used to proposing things to other businesses, to uh, consumers, to people uh, who you want to do business with you, uh, you want to sharpen these proposals and make them really good so that when people read them, they understand them. There are a couple of key things you want to have in them. I get proposals sometimes and they don't have these things in it, so it's a little shocking to me. The first thing is, what are you proposing? What are you proposing? I sometimes will get a document, and I'm not even sure what the person is saying. They'll have all kinds of figures and all kinds of information, or they'll be saying all kinds of things about their organization. What are you proposing? A great way to start a proposal is to say, this is a proposal to do X, Y, Z for you. This is a proposal to do X, Y, Z for you. Very clear. What are you proposing? The second thing is, what, are the, what is the value of the proposal to the person receiving it? Don't tell me all these things about your organization and about who you are up front. What is the value to me if I'm receiving the proposal? The value of this proposal is, the benefit of this proposal is, you will be able to do this after having this. You will be better equipped to do this. You will be uh, in the league of this kind of organization. You will, be, you will have a, a wonderful uh, whatever it is. Tell the client what the benefit is. You'll have a great wardrobe. You will have a, uh, a beautiful room. You'll have a beautiful place to enjoy uh, weekends, whatever it is. Tell them what the benefits are and, and lay those out really clear. What, is, what are the benefits? The third thing is, uh, what's the investment? Because you know they're, gonna, they're wondering about that right away. In fact, some people, they're shopping by price. <laughs> So when you present the value, then present the investment required. What's involved? And, and explain your, your numbers if the numbers are complicated. Explain the numbers. Um, you know, typically it costs this. Here's what we're offering. Um, this kind of investment is what people typically spend in this area and so forth. Lay out your numbers. Lay out your investment. Make that clear. Don't hide them. They're going to wonder what it is, so put it up front. And then who is proposing this? Why should I do business with you as a client? Why should I do business with you? That's where you can talk about yourself. You can say things like, been doing this 20 years, been doing this for five years. Do, we deal with all the top people in the marketplace. We just landed a, uh, a deal on Oak Ridge Drive uh, near you. We just did their, uh, their, their, uh, their driveway. We just did their garage doors. We just did whatever it is. That's where you, 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 you say who you are and why they should do business with you. And you might add to that a well, fifth component, I think we're up to five, which would be who else says so? Here's what some people say about doing business with us. Um, you might even put that before you know who you are. Testimonials. Why should they um, do business with you in the context of what other people say about doing business with you? That's a very simple format to do a proposal, and that will be very effective in helping your prospect or client understand what you're proposing, what the value is to them. In fact, I'm going through the steps here. What's your, what's your proposal? This is a proposal to do X, Y, Z. What the value is to them. What the investment is required. Who else says that doing business with you is a great idea? And then finally, here's who I am. Here is why you're even talking to me. 
If you can lay those five things out very crisply and clearly, you've got a great proposal. Uh, so that's how you do a great proposal. It's not complicated, but it should be crystal clear to your clients. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Share it with someone in your network that you know will benefit from it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the icon with my photo. And I will see you next time. I have a lot more coming. See you next time.